dudes, it's Caitlin, and today we are going to be starting my summer classes. Today's the first day of a new semester. So I started the day off by taking a shower, washing my hair. I'm gonna do my skincare, and then we're gonna get to new beginnings for a new semester. So I'm going to show you guys what you should do at the beginning of a new semester to get off on the right foot, like what I personally do to make sure that I'm all set up for the semester. I wanna be the most prepared for this semester because I'm taking two of my hardest classes so far and it's in a shorter time span than a usual semester so it's gonna be even harder. So I'm gonna do my skincare off camera and then update you guys. Okay, skincare's all done, my bed is made. I'm gonna have specific steps that you guys should do when starting a new semester. I know that a lot of you guys probably are in summer classes, but you can always write these down or save this to watch later for future use. And for those of you who are going to be taking summer classes, this is a good opportunity to get started on the right foot. But first, I'm gonna make an egg sandwich because I'm hungry and I'm trying to intuitively eat and listen to my hunger cues. So I need to go make something to eat. Okay, so I have two classes this summer and to start off I'm going to start with the syllabus of each class. I'm going to make a new folder in Notability for each class and the first thing I'm going to import into both of these is the syllabus. I'm going to go through each syllabus highlighting important points and figuring out what kind of things are going to be due, when exams are going to happen, if the exams are going to overlap or anything, and then we're going to move on from there. So I'm going to start setting up for my classes in Notability, and then we can move on to planning for the semester. Okay guys, we're done with the syllabus for each class and now I'm going to compile the two course schedules into one calendar so I can keep track of when I should do everything and I'm going to formulate like a study schedule as well later on. But basically I'm going to start a calendar using a calendar template in Evernote and compile a whole schedule for my summer classes, like what I should do every single day so I can keep myself on track, not fall behind get things done when I need to, and then I'm gonna add a study schedule to that as well. For both of these classes, I should study like 30 plus hours a week. So I have a lot of studying to do and it's gonna be hard to keep up. So it's time to start our calendar and see how insane these next couple months will be. As you guys saw, I mostly finished my academic calendar, so I'm going to run you guys through how I'm going to use it and what else I'm going to add to it before I get started on everything for this semester. Okay, so I may have to modify this throughout the semester because things may take longer than I expect or I might go through things faster than I expect. Basically, I have it color-coded this time. I usually don't do this, but 
since I'm only taking two classes, this is the best way to do it. So physiology is blue, genetics is green, and then big due dates and exams are in red. Okay, so how this works is I put everything in a checklist format so I can check things off as I do them. So classes start today, I have some things that I want to get done today. And for the most part, I gave myself Saturdays and Sundays off as designated study days. Um, there are some other days that are free, but overall I wanted to try and have Saturdays and Sundays free from doing topics or lectures. That way if I don't have enough time to study during the week, I at least have time on the weekends. Sometimes that didn't work, but we'll see how that goes. So for physiology and blue, they had a setup schedule, so I'll see how this schedule works for me. I literally just copied it line per line in my calendar. And then for genetics, I actually split up the topics between days before each exam. And this might be a little different, but for the most part, I'm just trying to get all the topics done before the exam so I have a few days to go over everything after I finish it. And I try to give myself time off the day before exams so I can study the last minute stuff and get that done. And the days of exams, I still have topics to do because you literally just take the exam. It's not as strenuous as like the day before the exam. So I can use that time after I take the exam to do some work and study. For both of these classes, I have to study, like I said, like 30 plus hours a week. So this is going to be like a full-time job of studying. So what my plan is, is I'm going to add studying, like designated study time for each class to this calendar. First, I need to make a study plan for each class, which I'm going to do in a little bit. And then I'll add some designated study time to the calendar so I can try and have goals for studying so I don't get behind. I am a little worried about this semester because of how much there is, but I think that it'll go well. Okay guys, so it's 3.20. I spent the past couple hours trying to figure out how I could get e-textbooks so I can um, highlight them. It took me forever of like trying to download it from my Kindle books and trying to figure everything out. So um, turns out I really can't get them as e-books like I could for animal behavior. I purchased one as a Kindle rental, so I'll be able to highlight in the Kindle app. It just won't be as nice as using like a PDF version and I won't be able to annotate it, which sort of sucks. And then for my other class, I have like a website where I can highlight it, but I can't annotate it again. So that sort of sucks. I'm a little disappointed, but there's really nothing I can do. I emailed both professors asking them if there's any way I can get PDFs of my course pack and my two textbooks. So I'm gonna see if they have possibly a PDF version of either one. If there's a PDF version, it'll save my life. <laughs> I really need the course pack to do my work for my physiology class. I haven't gotten the course pack yet and to ship it, it'll probably be like a few days. So that sort of sucks. And I can't start on that class right now, which is what I wanted to do. So I'm gonna have to hold off on that class and then get to fundamental genetics. Luckily for fundamental genetics, I don't need a course pack like I do for physio. So um, I'll be able to like watch the lectures now. The course pack for physio is basically like fill in the blanks as you watch the lecture. So you don't have to copy everything down. You just had to fill in blanks and like write stuff on the course pack while you're watching the lecture, which is nice. It's cool. I just wish I could do it in a PDF version. So I'll figure everything out, but basically that's where the past couple hours have gone is trying to figure out all the ebook textbook stuff. Now I'm going to start on fundamental genetics, I think, and I'm going to have to hold off on physio because like I said, I don't have the course pack, so I can't start the lectures yet. So for genetics, I'm going to watch the first PowerPoint take notes on it and it seems like it's only five minutes so I don't know if this video is the whole PowerPoint or just part of the PowerPoint but I'm gonna get to that now. Okay guys, made a Caesar salad for lunch. I'm finishing up the lecture. It's really short, but I had to stop because my professor emailed me back about the PDF thing. You can't get me a PDF, but I think there's like a online version I can buy, so. Okay guys, I was a little hungry after the salad, so I cut up some apples and I'm gonna have it with this Barney almond butter. This almond butter is really, really good. Um, it's expensive, but it's it tastes so good. And I also found out a way to get 
my textbooks on my iPad with like apps. So I downloaded the Cengage and Macmillan learning apps and I can access my textbooks through these. Um, the Cengage one I'm probably not going to use because you have to pay for it and I bought a Kindle version of the book which was cheaper than the Cengage would be. And the Kindle version actually has a lot of tools and stuff. Like you can do x-ray vision, it'll make flashcards for you, and it's pretty cool. So I'm probably just going to use the Macmillan Learning app for physics and then my Kindle app for physio. It turns out I had to buy the course pack for physio hard copy, which isn't the biggest deal. Um, it's just going to be more paper used. It sort of sucks, but... I don't really mind that much having a hard copy. So I'm going to do my reading for today, which is sections 1.1, 1 1.2, 1 1.3. And then I can highlight like this. If I can show you. I can highlight like that. Um, I wish I could use my Apple Pencil for this, but you know, this will have to do. Okay guys, I had to turn on the light because it got a little gloomy. It's 5.50 and I have finished all of my reading for the first topic for fundamental genetics. There's learning objectives that go along with the reading, so I'm going to go straight to the learning objectives and do those right now since I finished the reading. I'm going to have my iPad go through the reading, what I highlighted and stuff, and fill out each learning objective. And I'm going to keep those learning objectives in Google Drive for future reference when I need to take the exam and when I need to take the quiz for this topic, which I'll do later. Okay, so here are the learning objectives from the page that they gave us for learning objectives. There are also important terms that I'm going to make flashcards out of. But um, I turned this into a little document that I'm going to fill out with the textbook. So I'm going to have the textbook up here with my highlighted annotations, and then I'm going to fill out the learning objectives on my computer. I finished the learning objectives and this is how long it is. So that's not too bad for like one whole section, like one whole topic. I have a few topics a week that I need to do and this is gonna be the all the learning objectives for exam one. Each unit has a checklist and now I need to move on to the homework, the problem sets, and then the quiz. It's 8.15, I finished the homework, I finished the problem set, and I finished the quiz. That was the last things I had to do for my first topic, so I did finish my first topic for fundamental genetics today. Got that all done. Because I can't do physio, because I don't have the book, I think I'm going to try and do topic two as well for fundamental genetics, just so I'm a little ahead in fundamental genetics and can catch up in physio when I get my course book. So before I get into doing topic two, I wanted to do something on my habit tracker that I haven't done today. So there's a few things I haven't done today, but um, one of the main things that I want to do is daily journal. So I'm going to daily journal really quick and then get back to doing more fundamental genetics and starting topic number two. Mm -hmm. 